Hey family, it's your life coach, Coach Bishop, S.C. Johnson. Another daily kingdom vitamin. You know what it is? We're getting these 10 miles in a day now. But our perspective, you've heard it before, but life is all about perspective. And uh, you know, life is a self race, but it's a team effort. Paul speaks to the Corinthian church, verse 12, he's talking about the body of Christ in particular, and he asks the question, can the hand say to the arm, I have no need of thee? In other words, it's the hand saying I'm not the arm, and since the arm is not the hand, we're disconnected, we're independent one of another. He said, no, surely even the most feeble parts of the body are necessary. Even that pinky toe, you can live without it, yeah, but it helps bring balance to the foot. You're necessary. You don't have to have grand titles and a grand following or to be popular, but you are necessary. And you are part of the family of God, family of humanity, and we need you. You know, I, I was thinking about how we have to endure to the end and run this race that's set before us with patience. But man, it feels good to help somebody else. At times to carry somebody. You know, Jesus even needed a little assistance in carrying the cross. Kind of got a little fatigued and Simon of Cyrene, a melanated man, carried the cross of Jesus for a space. And so helping people is what we're here to do. Life is all about perspective, right? I saw this new movie out, Brian, oh, his last name escapes me, about the young high school football player that was wrongly accused of rape. There's a scene in there where it's explained to him that there are two guys in a prison cell and they have a small window they can look out and see the sunrise and see the grass and mud out there and the barbed wire fence, the prison yard. They asked both prisoners what do they see and one said, I see nothing but mud and barbed wire fencing, prison yard, concrete, jungle. The other young man smiled. He said, I don't see nothing but the stars. You gotta make the most of the situation you've been dealt and believe that the most high is going to help you do even better if you reach for the stars. And so we realize life is a self race, but it's a team effort. Think about a song I really like called That's Heaven to Me. I like the way Bo Williams sings it, that doo-wop style. My dad liked doo-wop. As a young man, I kind of gleaned on it a little bit. And it says, as I walk around, looking around on the streets, that's heaven to me. He says, a flower that blooms in the May, a lovely sunset at the end of a day, helping a stranger along the way, that's heaven to me. The song goes on to say, the feeling I get when I hear a lovely prayer, touching prayer, lets me know that the Lord is somewhere, even the birds flying around in the air. That's heaven to me. I think about Satchmo Armstrong, one of my most favorite songs of all times. What a wonderful world. The world in and of itself, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and all that th they that dwell therein, Psalm 24 and 1. He made a beautiful world. It's mankind's wicked, cold heart that is polluted and poisoned and tainted because their hearts are evil continuously their imaginations are evil only and so it is a really a beautiful world and all we have is the grace of Yah and one another to get through this thing together we're coming through history together we're doing life together so let's pick up somebody let's help somebody encourage somebody along the way let the strong bear the infirmities of the weak you know the brothers in need help him out man if a sister's in need, help her out. Don't kick nobody while they're down. Reach your hand down and pick them up. Be there because some of us is just a paycheck away from being homeless. One bump on the head from being backslidden or going back to being an awful person or turning into an awful person. You know, one mistake away, one traffic stop away from police violence, unexpectedly so. And so, man, we don't have time to sit here and hold on to grudges and be upset about what has happened to us. 
Put a smile on your face, baby, and see the stars instead of seeing the mud. But you gotta help somebody. The feeling you get from helping people. Ooh, when you do it, it activates the God nature in you. Because his nature is a giving nature, a loving nature. Man, remember, smile today, gut laugh today. Even if you have to cry as well today, whether it's tears of joy or a little bit of pain, it's all a part of this experience. Men cry, and so it's all right to cry. If you sow in tears, you'll reap in joy. The most I'll make sure that those that mourn will be comforted. So comfort one another, man. Help somebody out. Look for a need and meet it. Look for a pain, a sickness, and heal it. Look to bring relief to a disease. Help each other, man. It's all about perspective. It's all about perspective. Self-raise, team effort.